Hello, my name is Candace Bach. I'm with the Association of Washington Cities. Now that the elections are over, Washington joins Colorado in being one of the only two states in the nation to have legalized marijuana with the passage of Initiative 502. And cities are asking, what does that mean for us? There are a couple of things you need to keep in mind. First, the initiative takes effect December 6th with the legalization of small possession of small amounts of marijuana and also new DUI standards for marijuana. So local law enforcement should be familiar with those changes and be talking about how they plan to implement them. The next part of the initiative doesn't actually take effect for a year. The Liquor Control Board has been tasked with creating a licensing and regulation scheme, and they have one year to, to implement that rulemaking. So those changes won't take effect until next December. There have also been a lot of questions about revenue generation from marijuana sales. The new law creates a 25% excise tax on each transaction point from grower to producer to retailer. But that money is all earmarked for the state budget. Locals will only see revenue from local sales tax and local B&O taxes. There have also been a lot of questions about what the federal government will do. Marijuana remains illegal under federal law, and we're waiting to see what the Department of Justice will say about the new laws here and in Colorado. Finally, there are also questions about what happens to medical marijuana, and the new initiative does not impact or make any changes to medical marijuana law. Patients will still have access to marijuana and have the ability to grow marijuana legally. So this initiative leaves us with a lot more questions than answers at this point. AWC is working hard to get information out to our members about the impacts to communities. And we've provided information on our website, including links to the Liquor Control Board and the OFM fiscal notes. Finally, AWC is hosting, along with the Association of Washington Counties, a webinar on November 27th that will provide more information. And we encourage everyone to register for that webinar. I think it'll be a great opportunity to learn more the Liquor Control Board will be a presenter and we'll be talking about their plans for the future. So I hope you join us on November 27th.